Hey, how's it going, everyone? The Sham here, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, commentator um, recommendation reaction. And obviously, like, I'm going to leave it right here next to the My Little Pony and the Mordecai thing because, I mean, it's already been a while, but yeah, this thing was a thing on the internet. But I got recommended this by one of my friends to post this on the green screen. And yeah, but like, basically, um, as the comment said, the from a viewer which is shout out to Shanna that I should check out one that's called the great potato war and it's a uh, consistent of three parts and I'm just gonna react to the first part first and if I go on and end up liking it I might do the accumulation of the other two parts but in one video but I'm getting ahead of myself but before I do that let me hit that intro so I can get started with this video <music> by Skyblock. Let's get started. In all this time, well, you see, I've been farming potatoes in Skyblock. That Wait. wasn't a joke. It all started months ago. I just got in a set of superior armor and wanted hot potato books to upgrade it. I could have just bought some from the auction like a normal person, but if Hypixel has taught me anything, it's that if you have a problem, the answer is slavery. So I had 20 huh? potato minions with 20 enchanted lava buckets, 20 super compactors, 20 diamond spread-ins, because it's, it's just free money. Get this upgrade. And with this setup, I was making about 242,000 potatoes per day. At this point, I had enough potatoes for my potatoes. armor. I could have stopped. I could have put an end to this, but I thought, no no what if i went even further you can check your rank in, in each individual collection and i was already top 50 in potatoes i decided top at that 50? moment that i was going to be the number one potato farmer in skyblock how hard could it be first skyblock i needed to get or more is minion it slots. Minecraft? now i already spent a lot of time getting to 20 minion slots because i believe minions are important i mean they work 24 7 gathering resources even if you never bother oh, to wait, log in skyblock yes, that's is just like another version the only of way to achieve the dream that all skyblock players share which is to not have to play anymore unfortunately each minion slot requires exponentially more resources than the last so i did what any self-respecting skyblock player would do and sat in the shop menu buy an ice for 30 minutes ice i'm having fun <laughs> i dropped yeah. out of college for this and after spending what? many hours and 15 Yo. million coins i finally unlocked the 22nd grade my level seven potato minions to level nine now you might be thinking to yourself oh techno mm. isn't that obvious isn't it just more potatoes Next why wouldn't sense. you do that immediately no no it's not all right upgrading past level seven on minions never makes sense you're never getting that money back because upgrading cost over a hundred thousand potatoes just to get to potato nine that'll take over two months to get that mm. money back over eight months for level 11 it's just a bad idea oh but techno blade isn't that just a long-term investment no no, it's not. Remember cactus farms? Remember how they were great for like five days and then the admins obliterated them in an update? Yeah. You really yeah. think your dreams are going to go that okay. long without getting crushed by the admins? No. No. You're never seeing that money again. I'm sorry. It's gone. But I wasn't farming potatoes for profit. I was farming them for honor. Yeah, for like glory. So I started upgrading them to level nine. My last hidden weapon was the farming crystal, which increases the speed of nearby farming minions by 10%. I could only fit 12 minions in that radius. That but sort I thought, you know what? Amazing. Whatever. I'll just make a second farm crystal. Here we go. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm, I'm glad Skyblock tells you that after you make a second crystal. I mean, it's not like you could just tell me that after I make the first crystal. Whatever. It's not a total waste of money. At least I can auction. Thank you, Hypixel. If I wanted to fit all my minions in that eight block radius, I'd have to think in the third dimension. And so, after restructuring my farm, the potato pyramid was complete, yielding wow. 309,000 potatoes per day. But as an ex-English major, crap, I decided that math potatoes. wasn't enough to defeat my enemies. I needed to consult the classics. In The Art of War, Sun Tzu says, if you know the enemy and know no. yourself, 
you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So I decided to do some investigative journalism. I discovered a forum post from September in which a user I'm named a I'm a Squid Kid. Kid bragged about being ranked number one in potatoes. By stalking his profile, huh. I found another post weeks later in which he suggested he was now around seven million potatoes. By putting Holy these two crap. data values on a grid, I could calculate the slope to estimate his average daily potato yield. It wasn't perfect, but it was the best method I could think of to estimate how strong his potato farm was. I mean, it's not like I could just go to his island and, and look at it. <laughs> it's Wait, possible. that worked? But what I found shocked me to my very core. No, no, this can't be. This man made eight potato 11 minions and then he painted the Mona Lisa. <laughs> it was at this moment I realized that I wasn't dealing with a potato madman but a potato super God. villain. At this point, I fell into ah. despair. All sense of rationality, even the slightest hope of making his money back. This man mm -hmm. had thrown them all away to farm potatoes. I had two more minion slots than him, but his minions were so high level that he was still making more potatoes than me at 310,000 potatoes hey, per day. <laughs> but I wasn't even worried about his potato farm. I mean, farm I still had crystal? some minions to upgrade. I was confident I could make a stronger farm. I was worried about his head start. The month I spent farming the pigman sword, he'd already been farming potatoes. According to hmm. my calculations, he was already seven and a half million potatoes ahead of me. Even if all my minions magically became level 11 at that very moment, it would take 107 days to catch up. I can't go that long without uploading. Yeah. My fans will murder me. So was that it? Was my quest to become the number one potato farmer in Skyblock destined to end in failure? No. No. No, I refused. The sunk cost fallacy wouldn't allow it. If I wanted to defeat a man that had descended into potato madness, I would have to take his insanity and triple it. It was at this hmm. moment I spoke words that had never been uttered in the history of Skyblock. What is it? I should get minion expanders. Minion expanders hmm. have long been known as the most useless item in Skyblock. So you know how all minions have this like five by five area in which they work? They don't actually need this area. They could work with one block just as fine because all I do is break a block and then they place it right back. They don't need options. So what the minion expander does is it turns that five by five area into a seven by seven area. Why? Mm. Why would the minion need more options so it doesn't get bored? But with the Slayer update, they added a hidden attribute to minion expanders, which buff minion speed by 5%, which is huh. still garbage. Diamond spreading gives like five times the value, and I didn't have enough space to put both of them in my minions. The minion well. expanders taken up so much extra space, the potato pyramid was no longer enough to fit all my minions within the mm. farming crystal's radius. So I built... The Potato Dome! Post in five floors, the Potato Dome could fit all 22 expanded minions. And after I'd finished upgrading the rest of them to level 9, the Potato Dome could now produce 337,000 potatoes That's a lot per of day. Potatoes. At this point, the Potato Dome was the most powerful potato farm in Skyblock. I was ranked 20 on the leaderboards and 20. rising fast. And yet Damn. I knew, in my heart, that it wasn't enough. It wasn't like, even close. More, but what more, more could more I do? More. Farm potatoes by hand? I actually did for like an hour. It made a tiny dent. Sure, it would have worked eventually, but come on. Is mindlessly repeating the same task for hundreds of hours really what Skyblock's all about? Okay, yeah, pretty much, but I yes. wasn't about to do that, man. When I said 100 hours, I was not kidding. And yet, as time went on, it began to seem like that was truly the only way done it. I discovered a critical flaw with Squid Kid's potato farm. What His minions were too close together. Now with any mm. other kind of minion, that wouldn't have mattered at all, but potato minions are unique. When they're too close together, they'll start trying to plant in spots the other minions already planted and get stuck in an infinite loop dragging down the overall farm's potato output by as much as 90%. The reason he hadn't noticed this and was still first place in potatoes is because this only happens when someone is online and on the island. Because otherwise, Skyblock just runs a calculation to guess how many resources your minions would have made while you were offline. Anyways, he left the door to his AFK machine open, so I left my alt in there. Welcome to the real world, Squid Kid. Okay, can we take a moment to talk about Jerry, all right? I got a Jerry, Jerry. here. I got a Jerry there. Jerry. There's actually there's actually two Jerry's in there. I have video evidence, okay? Look at this. He's multiplying. He's undergoing mitosis. But that's not all the other day. I was just minding my business and then... Another Jerry. Why is he there? I knew I couldn't rely just on sabotage to get first place because who knows if there's other people out there just like Squid Kid throwing away everything 
just to farm more potatoes. potatoes. So I decided to look into alternate fuel sources for my minions. I mean, enchanted lava buckets are already the most efficient permanent fuel source in the game, but what about temporary fuel sources? So I got a bunch of hamster wheels, which is twice wheels. as much of a boost, 50%, but for only a day. And I threw like a hundred of them into the potato dome and it started making 450,000 potatoes per day. Damn. And so the days went it's by. Like... <laughs> Every day I'd log in an AFK on Squid Kids Island with my alt while my minions burned through hamster wheels, quickly bringing me into the potato top 10. I was finally mm. making good progress until one day yeah. when I went to AFK on his island again. He caught me. Oh God, he's online. What do you want? <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? I just I, I just wanted to check on the last supper, man. You AFK'd on my island for twelve hours! It was a good painting! I figured Squid Kid would find it a little bit suspicious if the same guy was AFK at his island every day, so I got a second account. And then I left them both in there. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. What? Melons. Why? Jerry! Why are you guys here? We have 102, which in regular potatoes is over 2.6 million, and we can only make we can only make four maxed potato minions with it. That's <laughs> all we can make. That's how expensive maxed potato minions are. They're so good, but it doesn't matter because they cost so much. It's never going to pay off. They're <laughs> all they're all gone. <laughs> It's just like, that's like, whatever. Everything's it's, gone. it's for the leaderboards. I had to sell everything so that I could invest it in potatoes, man. I had to sell my young dragon armor, my rare cake collection, <laughs> massively overinflated Halloween items. I had to mortgage my house. It's crazy out there. I actually did pretty well during the Halloween events, which allowed spooky me to raise pie. a lot of money. But I'm just saying, look at this spooky pile, right? Limited edition item with my name and pig rank stamped on them. Could you imagine how much money I would make? If I put this on the auction, I would make Dan TDM's 15 mil water bottle look like tap water. He left the <laughs> sign for me whitelisted. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see how you make Squid Kid's whole life. He's traumatized. He's just living in fear. Why are they here? Why do they keep showing up? But after a few days, I ran out of hamster wheels and I had to resort to my final weapon. Hmm. The catalyst. The catalyst is the strongest fuel source in the game, tripling your minion output, but they only last for three hours. Fortunately, I had a couple. With the power Holy of catalyst, crap. my potato output skyrocketed, and I put that all back into leveling up my minions. And in a matter of days, I had 22 potato 11 minions producing 893,000 potatoes per day. I don't make Damn. hot potato books. I make hot potato libraries. Originally, I thought Holy I'd have to go crap. bankrupt buying catalysts if I wanted to catch up to Squid Kid, but I actually discovered that catalysts are amazing. I can buy the materials to make one for like 10,000 coins on the auction, and then each of them makes 14,000 coins in potatoes. This is a miracle. It's free money. So every day I sold free hot money. potato books and then I bought more crystals. And then I sold more hot potato books and then I bought Man. more crystals. And that's the story of how I made infinite money. Well, not really, because you can only use so many per day, but I made a lot. And now I was ranked three in potatoes. I did some more two investigative more journalism and found the guy ranked number two in potatoes. I'm gonna give you guys three guesses as to who left a funny rating on his post. Squid so Kid! I was right on his tail, but I decided to visit his island to see just how strong his potato farm was. Oh, this is a joke. This this is pathetic. Only 18 minion slots. This this is just sad. I've seen Irish famines with more potatoes than this farm. You might get away with this farm in some garbage vegetable like carrots, but potatoes? How That's dare you? Story. Oh my god, this crystal. This crystal, it only covers five of these minions. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Against a farm like that, I easily took rank number two. It seemed like I was wow. only one step away from my from potato dreams. Squid and yet Squid Kid had been so dominant yeah, on the Squid potato right leaderboard here, that he was still here. three he's million potatoes ahead. But with Catalyst, such a lead could be destroyed in a matter of days. Be safe, I kept AFK in on his island until <laughs> one day. I checked my alt's window for a moment and the island was full. Two guys I'd never heard of before had called the police on Squid Kid and brought a helper to investigate him. Who called the police? Whitelisted, are you Squid Kid's alt? No, I just AFK here a lot as a hobby. I'm so suspicious. He doesn't believe me at all. I'm getting banned. They'd been investigating while Squid Kid was offline. I met him later that day and decided to warn him. Squid, 
I know we've had our differences. But, but the police are after you, man. I saw a helper. I saw a helper squid. There were two dudes, squid. They came to your island with, with the helper. They were snitching. I don't know why. I need they names. They were snitching. Okay, let me get my, my screenshots. I gotta be careful, man. The snitches be everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go AFK now. <laughs> Just act <laughs> natural. Just <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I'm gone. <laughs> it seemed strange to be helping my number one enemy, but his sheer dedication to farming potatoes had earned my respect. I had to give him help from mm. one potato brother to another. Also, I'm deeply scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial killer talk. We ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. I kept farming potatoes, and in a matter of days, Squid Kid's lead was almost completely destroyed. And yet Squid Kid himself had no idea. He even put a billboard on his island, number one in potatoes. But why would he suspect? Just a few days ago, he'd seen proof on the forums that he was millions in the lead. The poor fool had no idea what was coming. The poor fool. It hasn't updated. All right, I'm going to the hub. Has it updated? Ah! Yes! <laughs> Number one in potatoes! Nice. <laughs> to celebrate, I took my two alts and my main account, and then I AFK'd on all three of them! <laughs> I think at this point, Squid Kid knew that the alts were mine, but he was so confused. Why? Why had Technoblade been afk and on his island for weeks? He was so confused that he didn't even realize that his potato leaderboard spot had already okay. been taken. So I went to confront him myself. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Your potato rank one spot is now mine. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> He's checking. He's checking. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. How? Oh. <laughs> w. For years, my machinations lay undetected. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, you ruined my this life. This is all, all I, I have. have. <laughs> Squid. Squid, I found a problem with your island. A critical flaw. Get over here. Over here. Squid. Squid, get over here. This sign, it has the wrong number. <laughs> Pretty bad week for Squid Kid overall, I'd say. First he got arrested, and then I cyberbullied him, but it had to be done. And let me just say, there is no chance of him catching up. I even got 23 minion slots just to bury any hope he had. This spot is mine. And that's the story of how I became number one on the potato leaderboards. And we lived happily ever after. All the loose ends finally tied together. But there's together. two parts, though. Well, except for one thing. Oh, God, there's another one. There's another Jerry. Another and Jerry. he's staring right at me. <gasps> there's another, another Jerry. One. There's a Jerry in the water. No, 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 no. Another <gasps> one over there. There's another one out there. They're multiplying. I don't understand. What do you want? What do you want? Another one. There's another Jerry on the bridge. They've, they've got me surrounded. I don't understand. Uh... <laughs> another one. I watch my bad videos. <laughs> no, it was actually interesting because like the fact that um, all the grind that um, oh crap, I forgot the quick card. Uh, Technoblade. That Technoblade was giving uh, basically farming potatoes. Like he he started from the bottom, then he started doing a lot of modification with the minions, and then trying to get to the top, and then seeing who was at the top, and it was Squid Kid, and obviously Squid Kid was the one that was trying to become superior because like he he had a bunch of potatoes farmed, so Technoblade had a had a goal which was trying to make as much potatoes as he can, so. He did all the grind, he did everything, he even sold a lot of his stuff just to make it to the top number one. <laughs> just the fact that he was trying to get a uh, Squid Kid, he's like, this is all I have. I'm like, why? Why'd you do this? He's like, I'm number one now. That's all that matters. <laughs> that was actually funny. You know what? I'm actually going to watch the other two, the other two, uh, Potato War. 
from Skyblock. It was actually funny. Um, but like I said, that'll be it for this video. So stay tuned for more meme reactions, discussions, um, commentator recommendations, all the other good stuff like this and other videos. If you like the video, leave a like or a thumbs up, uh, like I said in my case. Um, leave a comment on how do you feel about this. Uh, like I said, share a comment. You know what to do. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Laters.